Hi, in this video, we will talk about the dot monitoring using the standard vegetation index and we will go uh, some geoprocessing with the help of ArcGIS software. Down is something about me. I'm Dr. Zubairul Islam working in the Department of Geography at Igrat University. So my ArcGIS software is open and left hand side is the data and right hand side is the toolbox. And uh, this data is uh, the you know the standard vegetation index and this data belongs to 2020 and uh, the month is here this is uh, october month okay yeah 29th september to 10 uh, 15th october the same two weeks are given in the 2019 here so we will go certain job processing with the help of our jay software so as we have already discussed in the previous videos uh, about the drought conditions if uh, the standard vegetation index is less than minus two the droughts may be in extreme condition if it is in between minus 1.5 and minus two it, it it will be the severe drought and if it is less than minus one and uh, two minus 1.5 it will be moderate drought so based on these uh, conditions we can find the areas where the drought conditions are there with the help of ArcGIS. So let's see uh, how we can do it with the help of ArcGIS. We will open the raster calculator here and we will take the condition and in the condition we will give uh, the data which we want and here uh, this is uh, less than or equal to we can say zero, zero. Uh, it will be I think uh, yeah minus uh, minus uh, 2.0 then it will give you the only that pixels which are uh, less than or equal to minus 2 here then you will do it okay then you will find the pixels where you know the you will find the pixels where the conditions are in the extreme drought conditions here and if you want to calculate the area from the viewpoint of uh, how much area is being then you should have the vector data so here i have taken the zonal data of ethiopia and uh, i want to know that uh, in which zone there is highest uh, drought conditions for that uh, very purpose i will go to the spatial analyst here spatial analyst tools thereafter i will go to the zonal and zonal statistics as a table and here i will take my uh, feature zone data which is the zone data is here field name one is the region but i need the zone that is the name two input raster data is here and uh, statistics i can take i can choose only one let's take the sum here thereafter i will do it okay and here this is my result that uh, this is the area these are the count and as we know that pixel size is 500 by 500 meter so to calculate the area you can multiply count times 500 times 500 the area will come so the largest area is uh, you can see here is summarily unknown zone is there there is the largest area in the extreme drought conditions during 2020 and the week is uh, 29th september to 15th october these are the two weeks here so we can join to map also here what we will do we will join the uh, fields of course name 2 is there okay 
and I have joined now and now you can see my symbology can yeah this is all you know the highest area you can see category and uh, the area you can make uh, area here and you see the area where you know the uh, I should make reverse it because here okay so this is the way the area means where the drought conditions are the highest here and uh, of course this is you know the zone area is also the uh, matters here because the larger zones may be having the largest area the smaller zone may have the smaller area so for that uh, we can go for uh, some you know the percentage area if we know the zone area then we can calculate uh, you know the the, the total pixels lying in the extreme drought conditions times 100 divided by the total area of the zone thereafter it will give us the percentage uh, of uh, the, the how much percent area of the zone is under the extreme drought conditions so this is the way we can go for some uh, spatial analysis here and now uh, if you want to report it that how much area zone by or reason wise then what the best way is you can take your data select all select all you can copy it copy selected thereafter you can paste it here you can insert go to the pivot table okay and in the pivot table you can get the suppose if you want to know from the viewpoint from uh, region wise then you will take the region and here you will take the area so the sum of the area is given here now you can see that uh, this is the area region wise under the extreme drought condition if you want uh, uh, zonal level then you can see here this is it zonal level at each zone this is the uh, extreme drought condition this week particular this week which I have mentioned in the arc map so this is the way we can go for some analysis and uh, if you want to compare from previous then also that also we can do it let's see so uh, here is uh, the zones and the, this is 2020 and here this is 2019 and our objective is uh, to see the pixels where the same week in 2019 and 2020 where the extreme drought conditions were there so it will it will give us an idea that which are the pixels or which are the areas where the continuous you know the previous year and this year the drought conditions were there so for that uh, very purpose we can use the boolean technique and for boolean technique we can take uh, end function here and the first image is this here where the pixels are equal to or less than uh, minus 2 and the same here 2019 where pixels are less than minus 2 equal to or less than minus 2 thereafter we will get a result here 
because here we are not giving the condition so it will come in the form of uh, 0 and 1 here we are not interested for 0 and we are interested for 1 which are the areas where such type of conditions were there so you will find some of the area like this here uh, last year this week also the extreme drought condition and this year also extreme drought condition so this is the way we can analyze our uh, uh, drought condition with the help of uh, standardized vegetation uh, index so i hope you will do it and you can practice if any problem then you can write to me please thank you very much